guys, Skippy here. Hey, I'm Todd Tucky. From TNT, TNT Amusements. TNT. All right, I know. <laughs> TNT Amusements and in Center City, Southampton, PA. And uh, anything you want to say about TNT? We sell games, make tracks, X Men. Mortal Kombat, Mrs. Pac-Man, Star Wars Trilogy, Mrs. Pac-Man again, another X-Men, Mortal Kombat 4, Sharpshooter, Neo Geo, Donkey Kong Jr., Spy, Spy Hunter, Double Dragon, it's Street Fighter, how about pinball, gotcha, all different kinds, there's Waterworld, look at that. I'll give it a shot. Yes, go ahead. Now the idea is to get it down the center. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny about that? How hard do you have to push it? Sorry. A little harder. I got it. I thought it was like air hockey. Uh, All right. So you got to hit it hard. A little bit harder. Yay! Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> TNT amusement. Spare. Spare. At TNT amusement. Where we turn your place into a fireplace. Skippy, I got stuff here that you haven't seen in years. Asterids, asteroids. Terrific game. Asteroids. Yes, like right that. there. Yes, right there. Look. Do you, now, have you ever played? Have you ever played a black and white classic like this? No, I have not. All you do is is peck at these buttons here like that, see? And then you blow up the aster asteroids whenever you see them. Now, if you're really stupid at it, you can crash land right into one. Now, do you think I'm stupid at something no, like this? No. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just tell, ask my wife that. She'll, she'll tell you the opposite. <laughs> this, was a, this was a classic, by the way. It was. I want to see you play it. Uh, I'll hold the mic. Okay. Let's see what he can do. I didn't get I didn't. Nope. It looks to me like you are a, an old connoisseur of this game. He understands what hyperspace means. That's the button you hit when you want to get out of someplace fast. Hyperspace. <laughs> <laughs> TNT. What? What do you want me to say? TNT Amusements. Where we turn your place into a real dump. Into magical music. Fun. Charming. All day long. And all night long. Until the next morning. Until the sun rises in the east. And then till the very next day, night. Until the sun sets in the north. And then we go on till the next morning. And then we wake up and do it all over again. Ugh. And then later that evening, we just do it and do it. And do it and do it and do it. <laughs> and then the next morning, we start again. <sighs> I got to have breakfast now. I'm hungry. <laughs> and then we're going to have some lunch. Yes, pizza. And then dinner later that evening. Pizza again. Do it all over again the next morning. And the next morning. Uh, you can rent them buy or, them. or buy them. Well, you can throw them off the roof, too. Is there an available uh, finance plan or layaway? That game doesn't like you, Skippy. Yes, there is. We always have financing. Actually, uh, yes, of course, we do have financing, but uh, the bank only likes people that have good credit. Come right this way, folks. Todd is taking us, Mr. Tucky is taking us into, I guess, the warehouse? Into the back room. Into the back room. This is where we have our boys. Here, hold the mic. All working. Or at least talk into the mic. I will talk. I see, I'm good at talking in the mic. This is where the boys do their magical work. Look at the Star Wars. Can I? Can I hold the microphone? So yes, you can now. You can talk into it, but I'm... Uh, she's going to hold the microphone, and I'm going to talk into it. Uh, and these guys all work in... Yeah. Jason and Steve are refurbishing this beautiful Star Trek 
next generation. Boys, is it beautiful? It will be. It wasn't very no. Woman. Now, when you get these games, do they ever have any issues? All of them do. You know what? The game just, wait a minute, the game just went funny. I mean, when an operator, he's just doing quick repairs to get it working right, but wires aren't fixed properly, he just slaps stuff together, we really go through everything, so this way when a customer gets it, it's in tip-top shape. Hello. I'm Skippy. I'm Wallace. Pete, let me see Skippy. And this is Ty. <laughs> and Wallace is our ace tech for Pac-Man repairs. Wallace, show them what you're doing with those control panels. Well, they're all apart right now. But, wait for the mic. Yeah, Wallace, I got the mic. Uh, I'm going to hold it for you. Yeah, but I got them all apart. Right I can walk with you. Walk towards it. Okay, we got all this. First of all, I took them off of here and cleaned this up, painted it, let it sit there to dry, and after that dries, I, uh, well, you know. Oh, yeah. We all know what that is, guys. You got to put that on there after it dries, and then we go to this stuff here. These are where the joysticks and things go at. I took it all apart. Nice. I got to clean all this up. Make very meticulous. It, yeah, make it very shiny and everything. Very tedious. Clean all these here off and put new wiring on it and then put it back together. Then it goes back Beautiful. to that. Beautiful job, Wallace. How long have you worked here at TNT Amusements, Wallace? Oh, uh, well, some, I don't know, about 20 plus years, something like that, or more. And what is one of your favorite games? Uh, all of them. <laughs> I don't play them that very much, but uh, my kids does. And I guess it gets a lot of satisfaction taking something that was once not working and two. Yeah, well, some of these games come in here, they don't look like they can ever get working again. Never. But they come up looking new after it's all done. Got to take put some time into it and bring it back to life. And... Okay, that's, you know, that's the rundown. How about if I take you over to the warehouse? That sounds like a plan. How did you get in there so fast? Secret, a secret. <laughs> but why don't you come on in? We'll show you, we'll show, show them around. <laughs> uh, yeah. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> that's right, Paperboy. Todd, I don't know if you remember this, but earlier when we first came in, about a half hour ago, I had mentioned one of my favorite games was Paperboy. I don't remember. Did you know, Skippy, this game was a dud? A complete bomb. So they re-engineered it and came out with Street Fighter 2. That's the one everybody remembers, but gosh, we got one of the original ones. This game really took... It went, took off, but look, look, these didn't. These got thrown out. Asteroids. Skippy, look what it's happens. It's a shame. Look what happens to this, the junk. This is the, the art, what I like to call the arcade graveyard. No, oh, it's a graveyard, all right. You don't want to be buried here. Not with all the glass. Can we start that one part over? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just introduce this? Because I like the um, the arcade graveyard. Oh, okay. Can we, you, can you say, can we go over it? Like, it's kind of like Halloween time. Oh, this is not a good area here. This is known as, Skippy, the arcade graveyard. Ooh. This is where games go to die. On my shelf. Good, I like that. That was kind of better. Donkey Kong 3. Look at, it's like a... I like Donkey Kong. But you, you should. Donkey Kong has all the elements of any classic game. Simple joystick operation and one jump button play. But so full of programming, Skippy, that you could never really master it. Only the best master these games. I gotta tell you something, Todd. When Pac-Man came out, I liked it. When Donkey Kong came out, I liked it more. That's good, that's good. Let me show you a real good game. This is a classic driving game. This just needs a couple screws, a few extra parts, but it'll be as good as new before you know it. What do you think? Well, it's got a long way to go, I'll tell you that. But I gotta tell you this too, Todd Tucky. Off-road was a fun game. It was, but not in this condition. But I know it's going to be hard for you to believe. I will have this game looking like brand new. Uh, I'll tell you. Put the tube in. 
I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Todd. It is hard for me to believe, but I can't wait to see it. Will you come back and play this game when it's done? I sure will. The green screen. Oh yes, it's green. And this is where we film all the funny stuff. We just started using this about, I guess, about a week ago. And what green screen does is it makes you be able to put a background. It lets us be in something. So today we were filming a story. But not actually there. You have to tell them not actually there. Not actually. We're never actually there. We rob clips off of YouTube ourselves. Yeah, the green screen and... And we put ourselves in it. That's the way you have to do stuff now. You got to have a zinger. So this is our zinger. It's another way of uh, bringing a new dimension of fun YouTube videos. We've yeah. got over a thousand videos on YouTube. You could put like um, the Empire State Building here with King Kong climb up to the top even if you wanted to, right? We could do it right now. How about right now? How's that? <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we, we could, I, I'll tell you what, how about if we're right next to the Eiffel Tower? How Whoa. about that? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Want to go parachuting? Yeah. Let's let's jump out of a plane. Ah! Let's go to Africa and wild wild safari. Well, I'll I'll have the binoculars and I'll have the gun. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel just like we we could do anything, hey. can't we? Hey Todd, let's go to the moon. The moon? I feel just like gravity. I feel just like I floating. <laughs> <laughs> See what the green screen can do. We can do just about anything. Now we can, of course, when we're done all this, we can edit everything. Right. And actually make it look like everything we just said. We're going to do that. Yeah, I thought you were. All right. I just wanted to make sure you knew that we were going to do I that. I thought we were going to yeah. do that. How about we make pretend that we were d doing the thing to shoot out here earlier and he came up and wants to know where he can get a game like any particular so I'll, like I'll start i'll start by to make it look real this is skippy yeah skippy. And, and we're shooting a commercial and then just make pretend you just came up to ask me a question so todd as i was saying oh hi how are you today sir i'm doing tremendous what can we help you for today i'm looking for an old game called galaga you mean galaga that's what i meant yeah sorry galaga you have to say it right mm -hmm. okay, sorry, sorry. Oh. um we'll start all right oh. uh so as i was hi. saying todd oh hi can i help you Yes, hi. I'm, I'm looking for an old game called Galaga. No, it's Galaga. Galaga, 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 oh, Galaga, Galaga. Okay, so as I was saying, oh hey, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for an old game called Galaga. No, it's Galaga. Well, he's... <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> All right, so anyway, you're looking for that game? Yes, I am. And what... Um... You know where I can get it? Actually... Do you know? I don't, do you know where? I, uh, oh, oh, oh. TNT Amusements. He owns. Get it from me. This is Todd. Really? Yeah. This is Todd. He owns TNT Amusements out here in Southampton, PA. Oh, well, hello, Todd. Turn your place yeah. into and a I'm Skippy. Place. Skippy, how are you? And I'm Todd. Hello, Todd. Nice to meet you. Bingo. And then that's For it. First time ever. Because that'll look like a real, uh, like a, uh, like somebody came to the store while we were shooting, so yeah. it looks busy. I'm here with Chris Short Round and Scott, <laughs> who work at TNT delivering games. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I've been here like since 2001, off and on. 2001, that's a long time. Yeah, off and on. He's more off than on. <laughs> I just started a couple months ago. Already want to leave. Is that bad? <laughs> oh, he's kidding. Hey, you know we you still use film here. Real movies on that screen. Now, what do you think of that? Wow, that's awesome, but I didn't know. And I'll bet these folks would like to see a classic cartoon, huh? Yes, Bugs Bunny and all. What do we have here, Todd? Well, Terry is working on a cartoon we sold to somebody who lives in Australia. Wow, good day, mate. Yeah, we ship them all over the place. This is my hobby, but it's kind of grown from there. I've been collecting movies for years. We're not a videotape person. <laughs> Hello. Hi. We don't like DVDs either. We like film. Real film. Me too, me too. Film. Film. I like film. You should, young man. You grew up with it. Where am I at? 
do what it shows down there. See the different oh. arrows lighting up? That's yeah. Your, this is your practice. So it's showing you basically some of the different moves. Yeah, and here's your chart. And different combinations will make it do different things. Oh, this is easy. Good. Who got that one? That was me. I'm white. You're red. Good. I mean, give me a chance. We had a great time, Todd. Thanks for showing us around. Skippy, my pleasure. I hope this is going to be heavily edited. Well, Skippy, it's been a pleasure, and thanks for coming by. And thanks for having me, Todd. And uh, Skippy, now, get out! <laughs> Go. The moose. Beat it! Get lost. Scram! I'm busy! We'll use one of them, right? <laughs>